Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here. Now today we have day 60 of the 100 day project and it's uniquely Australian. Now quite a few people suggested this, so let's go through. Um, Amy, she just said, um, gave me a few um, different options and Australia was one of them. Um, then we had... Sharon and she wrote um, something inspired by the colors and textures that remind me of Australia um, that was from Sharon uh, 91 was Kate and she's Australian and she just wrote uniquely Australian which is what I wrote down and then the other person who mentioned it and I hope I didn't miss anybody um, is oh Kiwi Grammy and she wrote Flora and Fauna of Australia. So I'll try to cover most of that. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I'm thinking I might make some. Oh, what's that on the floor? Just a minute. Sorry, guys. Oh, I had pulled those out. Is that put those away? Um, so I thought I might make something like um, maybe some sort of file, like file folder index card looking thing. And I thought I might use this. Um, 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 it's a, like a straw paper. It was a filing folder, actually, file folder, actually. And um, I thought I might use that and cut it up. So I don't think it's going to fit in there, is it? No, it's not. I'll grab my ruler, and I might, I might just tear off that bit. Will I do that? Yes, I can use that bit for something else. I'll probably do a bodgy job. There's a quick this is where it um expands, like it's where you fold it so it expands. So I'll just take that off. It would be bendy. So Lulu is out and about as per usual. And I have been down the rabbit hole, um, the rabbit hole of public domain, that is. Um, now, what size will I do them? I think I'll do them. No, that's not going to work. Five, four. Yes. And what will I use that for? I'll use that for a corner tuck. So I just cut a few of those. Um, well maybe I'll do if I'll do a bigger one. No, that's going to be too big for a journal. Sorry. Um, yes, Lulu is out and about town, and I am here going to do my video, and I bet. Um, I might do a few smaller ones. The, I bet the courier. Courier's got to pick up my orders. And I bet he, he comes now that I've just turned my video on. I'm not really measuring. These ones are a bit smaller. Okay, and I'll put those over there. I also prepared um, some corrugated cardboard. I'll tell you what, and I've, I've just put a bit of gesso on. I did it before, so that way it was dry, should I decide to use that. This, um, obviously you wouldn't put this in a journal. You would um, make something to go on the cover of a journal. And this really reminds me of Australia because we have a lot of um, corrugated iron. Um, on, and it's quite often on the roofs um, of barns and houses in the country. So that all reminded me of Australia. And then, of course, I went down the rabbit hole of um, preparing public domain images, fixing them because I can't have them as they are. And um, so I've, I've got cockatoos. I've got wombats. I love wombats. They're like one of my favourites. So are cockatoos. I've got all my favourites. These are, these are kind of like... Um, I just went into a, a, a like a scan book of birds of Australia. These kind of look like a budgerigar, but I don't know if they are. These were butterflies in Australia. I love this. I got this from the um, Victorian Public Library, and they have public domain images. And this is a black and white photograph of um, eucalyptus and their gums, the gum nuts. 
and this is a typical common possum um, this is from um, it's just a detail of it I just cut it um, it's from an applied arts book and it's that's the um, New South Wales Waratah flower and I've got it here this is the Waratah flower here it's just beautiful um, and in fact our our, our I think it's the rugby league team or is it the rugby union Sarah you'll have to tell tell everybody they're called the Waratahs anyway I, I could be getting it wrong because I'm not a football person then we've got our um, bottle brush which is typical wattle and then this is kangaroo is this no this is the fire fire tree because it's like little fire flowers on it and then here's another gorgeous possum I just thought that was too cute for words and this is that pink cockatoo that you've seen me use before and then when I think of Australia, especially also Sydney and also Melbourne, not sure about Brisbane, and I've never been to Perth or Adelaide, um, but terrace houses. These are terrace houses, so they're like semi-detached houses, and they have beautiful um, fretwork, like wrought iron fretwork um, and verandas on the front. And I love this. This is a period photograph with the lady with the old dress, and it was just like me right down to the ground. That also came from the Victorian um, Public Library. They've got lots and lots of images that are in the public domain um these are galahs love galahs see galahs all the time when i go and visit my mum um and this is a bottle brush typical to australia this is my photograph i took it at the beach and it is so typical of the rocks especially around sydney at the beach i'm not sure about other places but i i expect it's similar when i've been down to marimbula and those places that's similar but at the at the rocks there are redder um kangaroos um have to have a kookaburra love kookaburra this is a piece um um oh, well i'll get to that one in a minute this is a um antique map of the sydney suburbs and i think it was the late 1800s this one and that was also from the victorian public library um this is a bottle brush uh now this is was these were some um ha, a wool shed well that is just very australian very very australian and i bet that's a corrugated iron roof on the wool shed so this is an architecture architecture plan for a wool shed which i thought was really fun um i saved quite a lot of those sorts of things and this is a map of australia um i think it's a pretty old one it used to be called new holland because the dutch discovered the land of australia and but they only ever went to the west coast of australia and so the very early maps of australia are always depicted with only the west coast of australia until captain cook then um, ventured further around and he discovered all of the pacific and the east coast of australia so there you go and then this photo i just love this photo these are some aussie chicks um in late 1800s i expect those clothes are or early 1900s and they are having a very civilized picnic in the bush and it's so Australian. It reminds me of Picnic at Hanging Rock. I don't know if anybody's seen that very famous movie. It's, so, it's such a wonderful movie. And it reminded me of when um, we were little. Sarah, you'll remember, you might not remember, Sarah. You, you probably do. Do you remember Dad torturing us? He used to take us on a picnic on the weekend when he was about because sometimes he was off sailing, doing ocean races and stuff. But um, we literally would drive for hours hours and hours until he found the perfect spot i can remember stopping and starting nap 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 and and eating lunch like at three o'clock in the afternoon and we were all whinging um because dad dad couldn't find the perfect spot and i can remember sitting on rocks like this um having our picnic finally so that reminded me of that but i do, gotta tell you if you could see this photograph up close they've got porcelain teacups in their hands and oh what i mean they're sipping tea it's just amazing i love that photograph and now that brings me to this one this i've just put a portion of it in um i've just cut a portion of it out i should say it's a picnic map i don't know what it was for but it was a picnic map so they obviously maybe it was like picnic at the races or something like that because horse racing is quite big in australia so maybe they used to have very civilized um horse racing picnics I don't know. Anyway, it's a picnic map. So I've got that. Um, so of course, I saved a whole lot of other stuff. I probably could have done like a million more pages. Um, oh, there's the career. I'll be back in a minute. So I'm back. Sorry about that. 
joining two videos again today too. Now this, um, I also found this on the Victorian um, Public Library. I think that's what it was called. Um, and it, it was, it's the blueprints for um, the Theatre Royale in Hobart, which I thought was really cool because I didn't want to do put any um, of the my saved um, fabric antique fabrics or anything like that in there. I might use some doilies because you do find a lot of doilies, embroidered doilies in Australia. And I think that's because, um, you know, the first settlers um, were English. And so they brought all of that sort of thing out. And you would find um, a lot of china and porcelain in Australia as well because of that. Um, but yeah, I might add, if I want to add in a bit more colour and and floralness I might do that add some doilies but um, anyway I thought this was fun because I love the color of it and then this was um, there were quite a lot of art that, uh, my my printer had a bit of a thing um, this, I've just found a lot of really um, cool um, floor plans also from a, an, another architect I don't think it was this architect it was another one on the same website and they had just had pretty colors and they're just for different buildings. And I saved lots of the um, different ones. I didn't actually print those ones out for this video. Um, so I'm typical sort of Australian bu um, buildings, like a house with a, you know, the big veranda around it and the wrought iron and, the, and even the corrugated iron sort of roof. Because that was typical in the early um, 1900s, late 1800s. Anyway, so that's what I've got for my inspiration for uniquely Australian um, obviously floor plans are all worldwide, but anyway, they're Australian sort of architecture. Um, and then this is very, very, um, Aussie out and having a picnic and then the map and then the plants and the animals and the texture. I mean, I just love that. I like, really like how that photograph printed out. I, I altered the color a little bit, but I, I, I've got some more that I had done for that purpose. I love that. Um, but I'm, I wanted to see what Steffi could do with it. And I love that. I just thought these would be really nice, um, really nice backgrounds. I don't know. If you wanted to do like a journaling card, I thought they'd just be lovely sort of backgrounds, fussy cut the animals out and stuff like that. So, um, and I did put a few butterflies. I mean, um, plenty of butterflies in Australia. Uh, I did find one that was a um, sort of a folder that had... Um, um yeah butterflies from what did they say new holland well australia was new holland so i'm assuming they were australian butterflies um and then of course full of birds i mean lots of australian bird books so who knows what where what i'm going to do here so obviously i'm going to um, punch out tabs i've also got um it's a procrastinating I've also got this. This is a Kaiser Craft. It's the Aussie one. There you go. There's the corrugated iron. It's quite often rusted. Um, yeah, so I might use a little bit of the Kaiser Craft. There's Australia. So I bought that when I was in Australia quite a while ago, the colour of the earth. Um, they're, they're, they're not so Aussie. Um Yes, yeah, so I thought maybe I can, I might use a little bit of this. I may or may not. That's, I didn't print, I forgot to print out my, I had these, um, there's these big trees in Sydney that always remind me, especially of Sydney. I don't know about other places, but um, they have the biggest um, roots coming down and it, they're just amazing. And I've got a, I took a detail photograph and I was going to print that one out, but I forgot. But anyway, we'll do that for another video. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to layer up, um, you know, just old stuff. Old stuff. Do you like that? Oh, I, won't. I don't think I'll put German on there. Although I could, you know, that we did have people come and live in Australia from Germany. I could put any, I could put any language there because Australia has every people from over 200 countries around the world living there. So, you know, it's a melting pot of different cultures so um, really anything can go on on the page so I'll put some Italian on there how about that I'm going to start off when I don't know what to do I start off with my my book page things falling in the rubbish it can all fall in the rubbish now because I emptied it you see there's room room for things to fall in and I'm going to combine a little bit of textile I think get a little bit of texture happening in the project who knows what I'm doing I don't know I don't know really don't 
this is the problem. As you get further on in the in the hundred day project, you start to think, what will I do? This is what's happened. This is what exactly what it is. What will I do? Tear paper is what I'll do. That's about it, isn't it? So these are going to be like little um, file folders. They're going to have the tabs on them, but they're not going to be opening file folders, if you know what I mean. They're just going to be like a journaling card file folder. And do I want, what else do I want? I have a bit of blue, a bit of, a bit of um, blueprint. Wouldn't it be nice to have real blueprints that you could tear up, but then you wouldn't want to tear them up because you'd be sorry to tear them up. You'd want to hoard them. But I, I think I'm just fine with the pretend. I wonder what these would be like if we printed them on tracing paper. That would be nice too. Okay, I'm going to glue that on under there. So I hope everybody is well today. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night. Now, the chamomile. The chamomile tea... Um, even Stefano, no, Hitman Stefano is the best sleeper in the world. I don't, besides Lulu or a young person, I don't think there's any any person of our age that sleeps as well as Steph. He's so lucky. His mum does too. Best sleepers they are. I, I'm just such a bad sleeper. Um, anyway, you know, it's just because my brain, <clears throat> my brain is just ticking over. I can't wait to get up and have my coffee and get going. So going to bed is really a pain to me. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want my day to end. I like I want. I just want to keep on going. But um, but then you get tired, so you ha your day has to end. But anyway, so um, when we had the chamomile tea, and even Steph said it to me, and I couldn't think that he could sleep any better than he does. But obviously he can because he said, "Oh my goodness, did you have, did you have really good sleeps with that?" chamomile because I've been having really good sleeps and I was like I did have really good sleeps with the chamomile I had three nights of really amazing sleep with the fresh chamomile that we picked with the had all the spiders in it so I'm thinking I have to go back up on Sunday and get some more chamomile but I might get my mother-in-law to do it because she's not scared of spiders and after I've seen all those spiders there I don't know if I want to get the chamomile I really don't I'm just looking at the doilies. A lot of these doilies, especially my sister's ones, or my pretty much all. Near, oh no, my sister got a couple here in Italy, but most of hers all come from Australia. Um, yeah, so I, I must say I've had very good sleeps with the chamomile. So I think I need to get some more. And I and and I have when I buy the chamomile tea from um, from. From the supermarket it's not the same it doesn't do that it does not have that calming effect on me so obviously the fresh stuff just picked is really quite much stronger i like that the colors are working very well that's going to go there so obviously it's not going to be perfectly all australia but the general gist of it's going to be Australia. Uh, now, I wanted, I'd really like just a nice piece of something. Put some fabrics down. Um, let me see, what do I have here? Just a little bit of something to go behind. A little bit of crumpled, tea dyed something. I have to decide what image I'm going to put on there, don't I? I've kind of got it going sideways. I'll tell you what, that cocky would be nice. Um, what do I have that could go that way? I've got that one. Got the ruse. Oh gosh, I love that. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I might have to frame it. I like it so much. Oh, and I love that. Hmm. I had been looking for quite a while for an image um, where I think I might fussy cut this cockatoo out and I might actually make my, my file folder go that way. It doesn't matter if my writing sideways. There's no writing police there that are going to tell me off. Or someone might tell me off, but I hope not. 
um, I've been looking for quite a while for a public domain image of the ter a terrace house. Um, there are lots of pretty, pretty sort of, you know, pretty filtered coloured sort of photographs on Pinterest, but obviously they're not in the public domain necessarily. Now, there we go. That brings me to a point. Um, people would sometimes say to me, do you get um, images from Pinterest? Well, n not if I'm going to sell it. Let's just put it that way. If I, if I find something from Pinterest, then I'm going to have to go and check. If I'm going to sell, whether it be digitally or, or a physical item, I'm generally going to go and see if it's in the public domain because um, Pinterest, anyone can save something to Pinterest. So um, it doesn't mean that it's in the public domain just because it's old, if you know what I mean. So you're safer to go to the websites where it says public domain. Um, and as I always tell everybody, I'm not, I can't remember, you know, exactly where I get things because I've been saving things for quite a long time now. And, and well, the New York Public Library, I can tell you because all of their files have um, NYPL at the beginning of the file name. So then I know that where that came from. But everybody else just has this huge random number in front of it. So I never remember who's what's what. But um, Susan Taylor Brown did a very, very comprehensive, long series, very well thought out on the public domain. Just look up Susan Taylor Brown on YouTube and she has a very long series. It's, I think there's a lot of parts to it. Um, and she shows you exactly how to navigate the websites. Some of them are not user-friendly. I'll tell you, you'll stay there for hours if you can be bothered. And then you might need to fix up some of the images because sometimes they're very yellow and then when they print out, they're even darker. Um, but, um, yeah, just, just saving things from Pinterest. Probably not if you're selling. If you're just using it for yourself and you're not publishing it on a blog or anything like that, then do what you want. But, you know, if you're doing anything publicly, you just have, you don't want to use other people's photographs. Um, so, yeah, so what I was saying, isn't that lovely? Um, there's lots of um, public domain, well, not, not public domain, there's lots of lovely photographs of terrace houses. Um, but they're not necessarily in the public domain, so couldn't use them, but I did find a lovely old one. I don't think I want that. I was imagining some, some form of textile here, but I don't know whether it's going to work. Sometimes what you imagine is not what happens, was not what looks the best. using very bodgy scissors on that very bodgy because I also don't want to cover everything up in the background either I don't mind that maybe I'll maybe I'll put it down there and you just have a hint of the writing put it there no going to be without so I'm going to glue the birdie down and then we're going to put a tab on it I don't even need to stitch around these so cockatoos are very funny birds they're very um, loud they make a lot of noise and they're quite um, intelligent disrespectful birds like they play tricks on on other birds and I've seen cockatoos play tricks on cats and um and they I mean they're parrots so they can they learn to speak and um and they're very good dancers if you, you can look it up on YouTube just, just write cockatoo dan dancing cockatoo cockatoo dancing and you'll see um very very groovy dancing from the cockatoos what am I looking for? I'm looking for, um, here we go, I want the Aussie paper and I've got my tab punch and I'm going to make a tab and I'm just going to, would that be, yep, that I knew it, that's Walsing Matilda, I knew it. Oh, that's good, this one might be good. 
Just tear that out. Or, oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, isn't that lovely? Um, oh, I like that one too. That might be a nice Aussie tab. Um, yeah, so cockatoos dancing. Experts say they're very um, rhythmic. I, I am entertained by the, the silliest things, I've got to tell you. And I've told you before, I get sillier as time goes on. Okay, so we're going to have a corrugated iron. Well, that's lucky. I didn't even remember that I had um, that, that um, scrapbooking paper, the Aussie one. I've totally forgotten about it until I got it in here. Lucky I remembered. I want to round my corners. I've been wanting to round my corners a lot lately, haven't I? Where's it gone? Yeah, I did tidy up my desk. You wouldn't know. I don't need to back it. I don't even think with anything because it's already plain. And I need my tab. And I'll just glue that. I think I'll glue it on that side. Put it there. Oh, isn't that lovely? I like that. I'm happy with that. Very happy. So I'll just put some glue on my tab. Not stitching today. This is a no-sew. No-sew day, unless I change my mind, of course, which could always happen. Okay, I like that. There we go. There's my Aussie filing card. Oh, I like you. Hello. Okay, I'll put you over there. And stop being silly. Right. Okay, we're going to do another one. So, I've got this lovely bit of map. I see I printed out the map for a bit of a colour. I don't, let me just get this um, scrapbooking paper out of the way. Now, oh wait, why don't we have some more of this, what do you call it, blueprint? Lily was funny. She came up to me when I was printing things up and gathering and stuff, hunting and gathering, shall we call it. She said, that looks like blueprint, Mum. And I said, that would be because it is a blueprint, dear. But that was very funny. I was actually surprised that she knew what a blueprint was because I didn't know that she knew what a blueprint was. Put that there. She could see I was running behind with everything today and she didn't even ask me what's for lunch, Mum. She said, you wouldn't happen to, or actually she said, you wouldn't happen to know what is for lunch, would you, Mum? It was one o'clock and I said, no, and I was working on the computer and she said, right, well, I'm just going to go and get my own lunch and she made herself porridge. <laughs> I said, good idea. Off you go. Good idea. She told me I'm scary. Scary, Mum. I've got that left over. I don't know if I'll use that again. Let's just see. I'm, now, I'm, the fabric's now in my way. Okay. I've got that one. We'll, we'll go for something different. Oh, I just love this. Keep getting a glimpse of that. Okay. Got, I was going to put some map. Oh, I know what I meant to do. I meant to print out, um, I had saved some big old maps of Australia too. I forgot to print one of those out. Oh, well. Oh, well. Put that there. And I think I'll put some book page. I was having trouble finding the book, but I found it now. I think I might have the bloody blahs. I've been quiet all morning and now I'm bloody blind. better check I'm on screen because sometimes I do I am pushed off now I'm right in the center and I, but I am falling off my chair so I've readjusted my position on the chair because I don't want to fall off the chair oh and I what else I remembered too but then I thought oh, I don't really feel like messing about with those is I do have some Aussie style um, napkins that my sister gave me 
could have used some of those too but I thought we don't want to pull out too much stuff because you do get into the biggest mess you really do now where's that lovely um, Waratah where has it gone I need to have a bit of fabric you never know just stick that there for the minute Oh, I did print out another map. There it is. Well, I've lost my Waratah. Can anybody see it? There it is. I could cut that out and put that on. Oh, that might be nice. I'm going to cut it out. Hope you don't mind. Oh, yes. We see those pods everywhere. They drop off the trees and you see them everywhere. So I think this is the New South Wales Waratah. I think I said that. So fortunately, Captain Cook um, discovered the other coast of Australia and they went and he took, um, what's his name? Sir Joseph Banks and they... Um, went around exploring and Sir Joseph documented all of the flora and the fauna so we have these quite a lot of there's quite a lot of um, antiques about with um, you know documenting this sort of all these things so we get these lovely illustrations Oh, and I found a photograph of George Street in Sydney, which is in the centre of the city where the CBD, where the central business district, where the um, high rises are, a um, bit further up from Circular Quay, where the opera house is. And, um, and there's old trams on it and the ladies are dressed in the big dresses and it's like a cobbled road and there's no skyscrapers. It's really a great photograph. I saved it. I didn't go through all the photos. Oh, I might have said, because it was the Victorian Public Library, it didn't, probably didn't have as many. It's probably more of Melbourne. I probably should have a look at Melbourne too. But it is fun to look up where you, where you grew up or where, you know, where you come from and, and see the old, um, photographs of what it used to look like it's just amazing i also saved a photograph of bondi and i mean there's hardly any buildings down there. it's all you know wild and grass and fields and not so many houses and then there was this photograph of this couple and they had a in their veggie patch at bondi be hard pressed for a veggie patch in bondi now you'd have to have one of those ones that goes up the wall that's you know like a decorating statement and I can remember my parents um, told me they moved up to Sydney from Melbourne because my mum is English and then she, my grandparents the English company moved my grandpa to Tasmania so mum um, went to school in Tasmania um, and then she went to do nursing in Melbourne and that's when she met my dad. So she never finished nursing because she met my dad. He swept her off her feet. Um, and then, and then um, um, I think my dad was working with my uncle who was quite a bit older than him and he moved him up to Sydney and I, my older brother was born um, and they were looking to buy somewhere and things were very cheap then, very, very cheap. Um, and they, you know, mum said you wouldn't at that, you know, in the, that would have been in how my brother was baby. So he was born in 66 and my mum said, you wouldn't have moved to Bondi if, if, if they paid you. 
and it, you know, nobody wanted to live in Bondi. I can remember going down there to get fish and chips with Dad and being terrified. <laughs> because people had had a brawl at the pub down there and there was a man with blood on his face and I used to think it was a very it was okay during the day but I thought it was a very dangerous place to go to at night um and now it's like million dollar properties there and yeah I mean don't you wouldn't you don't you just kick yourself that you didn't buy something in the 70s when nobody wanted to live there well not nobody some like people who loved going to the beach every day and that sort of thing might like to live there but it was a bit um it was more run down than what it is now they fixed it up a lot there's lots of nice cafes and well you know beachy sort of shops and um restaurants and things to go to isn't that lovely i like the waratah But I thought that was interesting that mum had said that. She said, oh, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't buy anything. In the 70s, you wouldn't buy anything down in Bondi. It was rough. Just wondering if I'll put that there. I might. I might put that there. And I'm just looking for... No, I won't look for that. Yes, I'm going to put that there with the fabric underneath. And I can, I remember when I was younger too, even the terrace houses in Sydney, in the centre of Sydney were very, you know, if they were run down, they were very cheap. Now they're gazillions, gazillions, they cost millions. I wouldn't be able to live in Sydney. It's too expensive. It's so expensive now. Okay, so I, think, I don't want to cover Sydney suburbs. We'll keep that. And I'm just going to grab this and just smoosh it down. It's got sticky fingers. Of course, I haven't organised my... Oh, I do like that. I do like that Warata. It's a very nice colour. It's nice um, bluey red, burgundy. Right, now I need a tab because we're doing file folders, don't we? Don't need... We shouldn't lose the plot. So I'm just going to go through here again. So I am using this for my tabs because I like to use, oh, that's very nice, um, I like to use um, sort of a heavier paper. I don't always, sometimes I'll just use regular copy paper, but green, well that green is like, oh, see I would never use this, um, this is shiny. It's, shiny, it's embossed it's shiny so i probably wouldn't use a big large expanse of it because it's shiny and i'm not in all oh, that one's shiny too but they're nice for tabs and then you've got all these things i never know what to do with those just a note surprise i think there should have been some aussie sayings in this i guess they tried to adapt it more to um more generic but i think some aussie sayings in this little um, thing would have been good that's just what I think rather than you're the best okay so which do I like the best I like that one okay. I think I like this one the best that one or don't you love the way I make you audition everything with me this one It really is a lovely paper pad. It really does, except for the sayings that are not very Aussie. They're just more generic. Um, it's a very Aussie paper pad. Okay, got it. Right, put some glue on there. And I really am liking the colours on this one with the golden sort of coloured. Oh, I didn't round my corners. Let's just do that. I like them with the round corners. Or maybe I'll only round them on the side that I'm putting the tab on. I think I'll do that. They're different. 
So I'm going to pop my tab down here on this one. There. And these would be nice to um, add in as a flip to. Sometimes I like to, depends on how big the the file folder thing is, but um, sometimes I like to stitch around them and it's like a side tuck too. I really am liking the colours. Good colours are coming out of this. I'll turn that one around. It's already got a rounded corner and we need to decide on a background. I do love this one. Do I have a bigger one? No, they're small, so I might have to trim it down. I could put this love that I think I'm going to glue that one down so I'm going to put my glue on here and then I'll trim it I like these, um, all of these suggestions, even though that, you know, like it takes me time to sort of gather up what I think I need. And I always think I need more than what I actually do need. But um, it makes me have to think about things. And I like that. It also, I've been remembering things too, which is good. Now, did, I don't think I glued everywhere. I didn't, because I said I wasn't sewing. So I need to glue everywhere. I, I've glued this on like I'm going to come back with my sewing machine and stitch around. Well, if it's popping up, I might, might do that. If it's popping up too much. It's not popping up there. So how's it going down here? Seems to be okay. Okay, let's just get the card and make sure... Now, I don't want to cover it up too much, but I would like to add a focal point. So that could be nice. I'll fussy cut around it. Oh, we could have one of the... Um, I don't know if it's a budgerigar. I did print. I did save some budgerigars as well, but... Um, budgerigars, I think they might be from the family of parakeets. They're nice. I like the cockatoo. Not the cockatoo, the kookaburra. Um... Oh, the butterflies are good too. It's hard when you like everything. It's always hard. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to just bear with me. I'm going to cut. I think I'll cut around the kookaburra. Or will I tear it? Maybe I'll tear it first. And that, because it, I'm just noticing it's got all the lovely. It's on a gum. It's on a sitting on a gum tree. You can sing the song. I'm not going to sing it because my singing's not the best. I think I won't give up my day job to become a singer. But you can all sing it. He sits on the old gum tree. would have to cut him out more so let me just cut out my possum I do like this possum do you think they were inspired by um, for the movie gremlins by possums because that looks like a gremlin face to me it just came to me I used to love that movie when I was little those cheeky gremlins they were so funny some of them were really naughty. I just chucked that little piece over my shoulder. I just... <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm the one who has to clean the house so I can do what I want. Nobody can tell me off. Oh, I hope you can't hear that. My tummy's growling. 
I didn't eat very much lunch today because I was too busy gathering my Australiana and I just didn't get up and prepare any lunch. I just had a had a um a coffee. Oh I like that one. I do need something else. Mm-hmm. Does it need? No, I don't want to cover it up. I think I wasn't going to get them out today, but I do. I'm sorry, Sherry. I'm sorry to do it to you, but I feel like it does need, because I don't want to cover up the background at all too much. I feel like I need like a field notes or something like that. I need something because you know this is what they were doing. They were they were um, doing field notes. They were writing things down. They were studying the animals. So this one is going to get something like that. Keeping the field notes. Oh, I, this is right. One of my favorites. I like that one, but I might like this one more. It's really tormenting. It's really tormenting you, Sherry, when I audition all of the labels. I like the red. I think I like the red. I've made a decision. Right. Oh my goodness, and I keep forgetting to publish my photographs on Instagram. I'm days behind. I better get that done. I might publish three a day till I catch up. I thought about publishing the current days and then another two from the previous days that I forgot, but then they'll all be out of order and I didn't want to have them all out of order because then well, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it matter? I mean, I know you'll say to me, there's no there's no um, Instagram publishing police, but you'd be surprised that there are quite a lot of people that think that they are the police of things and they have a go at you when you don't do it the right way. You'd be surprised how many um, crafting police there are out there. Quite a few. Gail's had quite a few and I get them sometimes. Not any of my regulars. No worries about that. Okay. They kind of police and run, usually. Oh, I love this one. It's very simple. Three things. The background, the, the Tracy label, and the possum. What fun. Thank you, ladies, for making me do this. Thank you. I love it. Okay, now... We have to do our tab. I could do the corrugated iron. Where's my other? Oh, it's still in the machine. I could do um, the greenery, which I really do like that one. But I might like this greenery more. No, I don't. That's the car Where's the other one gone? The stripy one. There it is. No, I think I like. I think I like the corrugated iron the best. So we'll do that one again. If I can get it in the machine, go that way. Probably need to eat something. Okay. Right. I like that. Okay, next. They're not quite what I envisioned, but anyway, I'm quite happy. So I've got this. So I would need something quite um, powerful to go on. Like, do you know what I mean? Like really sort of colourful to go on the front of that one. These are all a bit pale. I've used my brighter. 
things, I think. I could put the little wombat on there. Oh, that would be cute. I'd need to do something to the background a little bit um, to separate it, is what I'm thinking. Let me just see here. Like, I could put that there. I really do like that. So this is going to become, the. that'll be the size of the, the um, journal card, journaling card. Oops. I didn't do anything with my corrugated iron, did I? My corrugated, <laughs> corrugated iron, my corrugated cardboard. I need to do something with that too. And then what else do I have? Some of this. I don't know if I want to use that. I might. Oh, yes, I might. Oh, I like that. Popping out there. But I like it that way. The, I mean, as I always say, the good thing about it is you can always print it out again. If you make a boo-boo, which can happen, I'll put that there. And I'm going to cut around my wombat. I love wombats. Does it? Do you all know what a wombat is? Because when I was um, doing my, um, you know, doing talking about Australia to the kids at school, I mean, they all thought the wombat was a bear. That's just telling you. So a wombat is a marsupial. It has a pouch. And they especially live in southeastern Australia, if I can remember correctly. And um, like my dad has them at his at um at his house in the country outside of Sydney, and big and they they burrow underground and they live in um burrows, and um they they have big claws for digging, and they leave these big holes. They're very cute. I really do love them. Um, they're one of my faves and, um, they're herbivores, they're nocturnal, they grow to one meter long and they're very, 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 very big, very big they are. And what else? Oh, their pouch. Now the pouch, like the kangaroo pouch opens at the top. And so the you know the joey climbs in, the wombat pouch opens at the back, because because they dig. Um, otherwise, um, if the pouch was open at the front, when they're digging, all the dirt would go inside. So nature's have made it so their pouch opens at the back, and I think I put that there. Um, yeah, so their pouch opens at the back, and little baby comes out the back. The back. But they're very cute. They are very big and very heavy, as I mentioned. And so, like, people who live in the country quite often have these things on the front of their cars. We call them bull bars. Um, and it protects their car from... Because the wombats and the kangaroos are quite quite nocturnal. I think I'm going to just put that over there. I've changed my mind. And so, when you're driving along on the highway in the country, um, they can come out in the middle of the road. And they're because they're so heavy... Um, you know, they can flip your car over. So people have to have the bull bars. It's very sad for the animals because, the, you know, there's quite a lot of roadkill when you're driving along. Like if you're driving from Sydney to Melbourne, you can see quite a bit of roadkill, which is sad. Put that there. Now, I feel like I, ne I do need, I feel like I'm dealing with nature here. I need a bit of Tracy. Do need a bit of Tracy when you're doing nature. It's becoming very busy. It's a very busy journaling card. No, where's my field notes one gone? I've lost it. Where did I put it? I put it in the wrong spot. Oh, there it is. I tucked it in behind there. No, maybe I'm not going to put a, a label on there. No, I don't want to cover up all my buildings. Oh, my tummy. Oh, I like that. My tummy is really making a lot of noise. It's really noisy. Okay, now I'm going to glue this to something. I'm going to glue it. To some book page. Those book pages have all stuck together. Let's glue it to some book page. So if I, yep, I'll just glue it all that bit there. 
that's pretty much the width of it. Oh, too much, pushing down too hard. Put that there. This is a very busy tag. It's a busy wombat tag. It might become a pocket. I might make it one of those file folder pocket things that I was talking about before. In which case I don't need to back it with um, plain paper. And I might just change the dimension just a tiny bit. There we go, trimmed a bit off. I wanted it a bit narrow, narrow, more narrow. It was a bit square for my liking and I just need to move my lace for a second so I can trim off that bit. Okay. Okay, it's quite a collectic kind of um, file folder. The one I really like is this corrugated iron. I'm liking it again, so I'm going to use it again. I just think the colours go really well together. So oh, I guess some of most of you know how you, how to use this. I learned that from um, Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. Um, if you put your paper just under there, you get it doesn't give you two pieces, it gives you one piece. I was very, very excited when I saw Barbara do that and show me how to use it because I was gluing two pieces together and I did feel like a ding dong. And this one, oh, I'd said I was going to make it a pocket, so I might ha I'd have to put it there. Maybe I'll put it down there. I was going to put it up there. I kind of like it up there. I've changed my mind. It can be a side tuck. That's what it's going to be. Because I like that up there. It's not a journaling card, this one. It's a bit eclectic, but I like it. Okay, we'll do one more thing. Of course, I, you know, spent all that time. I can't tell you how many things I saved in the computer. And, and I've got so much stuff left over. I thought I might do something with this. Why don't I glue it to my paper first? Just put some glue on here. Oh, I wonder what fell down. I do wonder. I love I love these rocks. They're a little bit like when you go walking on the rocks, they're a little bit painful under your feet. But there's always smooth bits to walk on as well. So um, those bits hurt a little bit if you walk on those. It's not advisable. this now I need to do a little bit to the background I'll put my pink cockatoos off oh, the butterflies would be nice on there oh aren't they nice oh I like that I put that there or do I want book page I had another one of those to do. Oh, well, I, I, I think we've been here for quite a while. Oh, I've got some of this too. I haven't used this yet. I oh, quite like those colours. That's good. So I'll just tear that off there. I can always put it on. No, I like that side. I like both sides, but I like that side with the changing colour there. So I'll put that there. Just have a little bit of different, a little bit of separation from... From the background, I don't think I want that one. Let's just check. We want this and this and this. Now I think without it, just that. So 
we put that there. Oh my goodness, stomach. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is growling. Okay. And I think I might, I don't know if I want green. No, do I? No, no green. What other colours did I have? I had this one. I'm just going to cut one out because I can't tell because there's so much of it when you look at the whole sheet. Oh, it kind of, um, it's kind of, um, I feel like it's cracked a little bit. There are some good Aussie colours in those stripes. Yeah, I do like that. Put that there or over. No, I like it on that side. And we could have a little bit of lace, you know, not that lace, it's too wide. Um, anyway, I'll put my tab on. I know I, like, I want my tab. that and then um, okay stomach we get the message we do get the message Just to kind of feel like it makes it a little bit more delicate. I think I'll just put it down there because I don't want to cover that up. There we go. So that's that one. And let's just, I don't know if I'll do anything with this, but let's just have a quick look and see. So I was thinking a mixture of sort of texture and an image. So let's just have a look. It's so cute. It's nice. Grab a little piece of this. Oh, they're nice colours, aren't they? Put that one. Let me just see what else I've got here. I could have my bird. Oh, I like the birds. Oh, I like the possum too. Obviously, it would be something I would... It, well, because it's thick, it's chunky, it would be something that I would put on a cover. I did like the birds, but I need a bigger piece. So I think I'll go with my original choice, the flowers. Oh wait, what about these galahs? No, the flowers. Or this. Oh, that one's nice too. Similar sort of colours really. That's why I like it. I think I'll go with that one. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to cut a piece of this. I love this lace. Getting down to the last bits of it. I might use some PVA glue because that will get into the um, grooves a little bit. Now I want to make a scrappy journal with this. And I need 
need to stick that down here. I'm actually just going to kind of glue that down like that, a bit messily. I will be stitching this one I will stitch afterwards but I won't stitch it on camera squish that down and then because I want to stitch around the image too once I've glued it on so let's get some glue on here I'm using PVA because I want the glue to get into the grooves of the corrugated cardboard. I think we've made quite a few things here. For again thinking I wasn't going to make it today. Right, card. If you want to get it in. And I would protect this a little bit with um, like a spray fixative or Mod Podge or something if it's going to be a cover. You like that. Um, I could, I've got a little piece of ruffle left here from when I was making, oh yes, I think I'll glue that down there or will I glue it up there or I like it up there. Up there or down there? I mean, maybe I like it down there. It kind of blends in a little bit but gives you a bit of sense of texture. I really like it when you just make it up as you go, but then you're really happy with what you do. You get a, a happy result, shall we say. Okay. And I feel like it needs something up there, but I'm not sure what, so maybe... I'll have to have a think about it. I mean, a piece of this would be nice. Yes, what about a piece of that? I, I said I had to think about it, but it's it's come to me now. Just carefully tear a little bit off the top. I hope Lily's not calling me because my phone is on airplane mode. Hey, oh yeah, good. So there we go. There's a corrugated cardboard reminded me of corrugated iron that's on the roofs with some fire tree and textile. And I don't know if I'll do this one now, but we'll just have a quick look. It'll probably end up being something similar. I don't think I'll do it now because I now I'm thinking I better get my phone back in action in case Lulu calls. So let's recap what I've done because I think we've been here probably for an hour. Kind of have that feeling it's been an hour. Close those because I forget. Okay, so I thought this could be a scrappy journal cover and I will stitch around that one when it's dry. And then we've made these file folders that can be flips or journal cards or pockets. And we've got the Australian um, the rocks at the beach and this was an antique um, picnic plan from the 1800s we have a wombat um, that was going to be a wool shed and map of sydney and um, the waratah ap applied arts got a possum 
on some gum uh, gum gum nut sort of photograph behind New South Wales Waratah and then the cockatoo so there you have it that is my video today oh I'm so relieved I got that done um, like in the sense that I figured out what I wanted to do and I hope you're having a great day and I will see you tomorrow thank you for watching bye